So there's one question we get all the time on this channel. We get a lot of questions a lot of times on here, but where can you find a single family house for under a million dollars? In this video, we're gonna break it down for you. All right, so we have our top eight places to live in San Diego for under a million dollars. So this is just for single family homes, keep in mind. So you can obviously get townhomes and condos for much less than a million dollars here mm -hmm. in San Diego. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna start with our top eight and go from there. So. Start at eight or, and yes. go up to number one. Exactly. So stay tuned to <laughs> yes. see who's number one on our list. That's right. Uh, best place to live for under a million dollars in San Diego. Okay, number eight on our list is the town of Mira Mesa here mm -hmm. in San Diego, which we actually just did a video on this very recently. Yes. And uh, I was so pleasantly surprised with all the lovely things that Mira Mesa has to offer, actually. Because when we were starting doing the video, we weren't quite sure what we were going to feature in Mira Mesa sometimes, mm -hmm. just because, I mean, there's a lot going on in Mira Mesa, but then there's not always a ton of like activities per se. But we found some, a lot of the great things that we, you know, didn't really kind of think of when we first did the video, like yeah. the San Diego Ice Arena, the, the food in Mira Mesa is fantastic. I'm thinking about it right now. I'm going back. She was just talking about going to Minya <laughs> Ultra again, literally right before this video started. Yeah. She loves that ramen there. So. Yeah. And it also has a lot of plans to be redeveloped over the next 10 to 20 years. So mm -hmm. they're trying to make it more walkable, almost like a city in the suburb type feel yeah, to it. Yeah. Which should, should be pretty exciting if they were able to pull it off. I'm not 100% right. convinced they're going to be able to do crossed. it. Can get pretty congested in the Mira Mesa, which is one of the negatives of, of probably living there. Yeah. But it is also super central to most of San Diego. So it is. You it's can a, get downtown in probably like 20 minutes. You can be at the beach in about yeah. 10 minutes. So it's actually super centrally located. And to be under a million dollars there, the, I think the median home price there is about $920,000 right now. Wow. Down from uh, just over a million dollars yeah. at the peak. In and June. they've got some highly rated schools, so it could be great for a you know a family home yep. if you're looking for some place to send your kids. I first mean, time home buyers would be a good place to check out. First time home buyers, definitely. It's got a great community feel. They've got parks. It just seems like a it's a very vibrant community, yeah, I think. Yeah, for sure. Okay, number seven on the list, what we got? San Marcos. San Marcos really coming in hot, like just booming. I feel like every day I meet someone who's like, I moved up to San Marcos. I know, I feel like we're talking about San Marcos all the time. Now, yes. maybe, probably because of the price points, like we said, there's yes. also lots of new construction up in, the, yes, in San Marcos. So if you're looking right. for something affordable that has like highly rated schools, and somewhere in North County, yeah. the San Marcos usually goes to the top of the list. For yes, people. there's also Cal State San Marcos. So there's sure. a college campus there that has expanded a ton in the last 20 years. I mean, it's just really, really grown. They've added more housing, like not single family homes, but you know, apartments and condos, obviously with those graduating students mm -hmm. in mind. So I think it's really like an up and coming neighborhood it continues to be an up and coming neighborhood. For sure. And they yeah. also have a very quaint downtown oh, village area. I love they downtown. They did a great job. I think I'm just jealous of any town that has a downtown I know, because me we don't too. Have, really have one yeah. per se in our area. Yeah. So it's always nice to see when there's a towns. People always like suburbs with a little downtown area. Yeah. I feel like that's every, what everybody wants these days. They did a really good job of, of blending that. And there's also Lake San Marcos, which is so cool on its own. If you want to go boating, you're in the middle of inland North County, San Diego, and here you're like on the lake sure. <laughs> on your boat on the day off. So I think those are a lot of pros for San Marcos. I would say some of the only cons would be the Melarus tax is still sure. pretty intense there. So when you're buying your home, keep that in mind because that's going to be tacked on to your monthly mortgage mortgage there. And also the 78 freeway, which is sort of one of your main arteries to get to the coast. And it gets a little congested. Yeah. And it's, it's always longer congested. than I expect it to be. Cause I feel like the 56 is shorter than yes, the 78. You're right. And I always expect it to be the same length because they're parallel to each other, Yeah, but it's definitely a lot longer and it can, there's a lot of bottlenecks on that freeway. Yeah. So just yeah. keep that in mind when you're living up in, in San Marcos yeah. during all peak hours, it's not too bad, but during rush hour traffic, it can be pretty brutal. Okay. Number six on our list is La Mesa coming in with a median home price of about 800,000, mm -hmm. which is great. I mean, you're well under a million there for a single family home. Sure. It's got a walkable downtown that's really been Another revived. one of my favorite things about yeah. downtown. Yeah, I downtown. mean, shops and restaurants and local family owned businesses there. I think La Mesa is great. Yeah, you can even take a trolley from La Mesa over to downtown. So if you want to catch like a Padre game or something like yeah. that, you don't have to jump in your car and get to a game there too. Yep. So, and one of the a few negatives of the area, it's a little bit more inland. So it does get a little hotter there if you want to get away from that super hot heat in the mm -hmm. summertime. So that's one negative. The schools are pretty good in general, at least ranked wise 
according to grade schools over there, mm -hmm. but it kind of depends on which area of La Mesa you're in as well. So pockets. Yes. There's also Grossmont College in La Mesa too, so it's also a very good place for investment properties if you need someone mm -hmm. to you know, rent out a place there near a college, it's always a good place to check out. Yeah. Okay, the next one on our list is another North County neighborhood that you may or may not know very well. is the city of Vista here, which is its own city here in San Diego. The median home price here is about $850,000, and at the peak it was only $875,000. So this is one of the ones that has dropped the least over the last year or so from the peak we had here recently. Vista is kind of known for, it also has a nice little downtown area. Yeah. It's not a huge downtown by any means, but it does have like a little pocket of like restaurants and coffee shops and stuff to, to do there. Some breweries. Some breweries. Actually, per capita, it has one of the most breweries in all of North County, San Diego. Well, how do you not live there? I should live there, really, because yeah. I was feel like it was meant for me. And uh, as far as the negatives of Vista, again, the schools aren't the most highly rated out there, according to gradeschools.org. You also have to deal with the 78 freeway again, but overall, it's definitely up and coming. Yeah. I think it's probably one of the more up and coming areas we have in North County, San Diego. There's room to grow. There's some new construction going on over there mm -hmm. too. So it's definitely going through a little bit of a renaissance here. Parts of Vista over there might not be the nicest ones in all of San Diego, but it's slowly starting to turn yeah. over, I would say. And if you don't need to think about schools or you're an empty nester, don't sleep on Vista because you can definitely get a larger lot of land for maybe sure. a lower price point. So and as it, by the name of the place, it's called Vista, you can get some epic views from some yeah. of the areas of Vista as well. So, and the proximity to the beach is also a pro there. Yeah. You're probably only about 15 minutes to the beach there in North County, San Diego. Number four on our list is Claremont, which just squeaked in there with like just under a million dollars. Literally just under it. Just under a million dollars uh, is the median price for a single family home there. If you're looking for a single story home, Claremont has plenty of them. So I know sometimes people are just dead set on no stairs, sure. you know? And uh, sometimes that's hard to find in San Diego because we build up instead of out. So but in the older neighborhoods like, like Claremont, Claremont, sometimes you can find a lot of the single story homes. Yes, exactly. So, and you are really centrally located in Claremont and you're close to Mission Beach and Pacific Beach. It's a great option for single family homes. Yeah, if you need a quick access to downtown or the airport, this is also a good place to yeah. check out. The cons with Claremont is that it can get a little congested, a little traffic-y. Is traffic -y a word? I don't know. I but think it's a word. I know that. Traffic Picky. Parking yeah. can be a little tough over there because, again, a little congestion adds a little more to it, too. Yeah. So. Okay, next on our list, this is at coming in number three. Number three yeah. on our list is the city of Chula Vista, which is actually the second largest city in all of San Diego County. Wow. Fun fact. So as you mentioned, it's one of the largest places we have here in San Diego. But there are a lot of positives about living there too. So the school's actually relatively good in Chula Vista, especially in the like the Ote Ranch area of it. They have a lot of outdoor activities there. They have the new Sesame Places down there in oh, San Diego. Yeah, right. They're building a huge new resort hotel, which might be on our next list of the yeah. best resort hotels in, in San Diego. Some of the negatives about living in uh, Chula Vista are probably very the south end of San Diego. Yeah. So you kind of get stuck down there. The traffic in out of there can be kind of bad, especially mm -hmm. once you get closer to downtown. Yeah. So that's one of the negatives living down that way. They gotta figure that out somehow. You're right, because is it like one way in, one way out? I, I mean, feel there's like- There's kind of like two ways out of it, sort of, but I feel like both directions, it kind of gets gets Busy. pretty backed up. Yeah. Again, there's another positive, is there a lot of new construction down there too. People yes. are always looking for new construction, and we always say, you gotta go to the south end or the north end, that's kind of where the that's majority right. of our new construction is here in San Diego. But with new construction comes Melrose, so, if you're okay paying a little bit more extra on your property taxes, Chula Vista is the spot for you. Number two on our list is one of my personal favorite neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. And this is also home to our videographer, Ali. So shout out to Ali Patterson. The city of Normal, or I guess the town of Normal, Normal Heights, Heights, which is a yeah. town in San Diego. This one came in under a million dollars, which I'm really a little surprised by because a lot of those areas around Normal Heights, like mm -hmm. North Park, South Park, Hillcrest and Kensington are all, are all well over a million dollars yeah. for the most part. And Normal Heights kind of goes under the radar a yeah. little bit. Too. About 900,000 for the median home price there. I could talk about this all day because I just drove through the other day and I was like, I love the architecture. It has so much character. It's not going to be your track home setup. It's going to be every type of architecture you can think of. We get jealous of it because we, we live in a tracked home area sure. of San Diego. Sure. And Normal Heights, every house looks different than it the one does. next It does. Whatever so. you like, you can find. You like mid-century modern. You like craftsman style. You like Spanish. You like a Tuscan. You want something more modern. I mean, they literally have every single type of architecture and they're on some larger lots, actually. So you actually have some yard space in the front and the back on some streets. It's very walkable. They've got some fun restaurants and bars and breweries and it's 
it's got some pretty good schools. I actually asked Ollie, our videographer, he said, what, what's the worst thing about living in Normal Heights? Mm. And he, the two things that he told me was, the big park they have there is next to the freeway. Oh, and we yeah. could use an outdoor brewery. Uh, <laughs> those are the only two things he could think of. So he, that's, even not even wife, that. so. that's not even that. I feel like if those are the two biggest negatives in living there. He was even good. really excited about the stoplights, the cross. Remember, he was oh, telling yeah. us about the crosswalk and how they had changed the timing of the lights so you actually have you give the drivers more time to stop before you cross the street near the school. I was like, wow, Normal Heights, way yeah, to go. Yeah, way to go, Normal Heights. Yeah. I'm impressed. Proactive. And this also has, this is according to our videographer, yeah. I, has the most per capita uh, small libraries. Oh, the little libraries. Like the little, the Girl Scout libraries they can put, put in so their yards. Cute. So yeah. I guess they have one almost on every street in yeah. Normal Heights. So fun fact. That's awesome. Number one on our list for under a million dollars for single family home mm -hmm. coming in at 875,000 for the median price for a single family home is Oceanside. Which Ooh. has been come very popular over the last it couple has. years here in San Diego. It's probably the only beach, actually besides Imperial Beach, it's the only beach community that is under a million dollars in San Diego. Yeah, so, for single family. Uh, granted, Oceanside is quite large. Yeah. It goes pretty far inland, so yeah. technically, yes, it's a beach community because it's on there, but the most of the ones that are under a million dollars are probably a little bit more inland than yeah. that. So yeah. just keep that in mind. Some of the pros of living in Oceanside is that there's a lot of new construction up there. there mm -hmm. I've gone up to Melrose Heights up there. There's a new construction building up there, and there's a few single family neighborhoods up there called Cadence, I think is the new one that's getting built up there. So very affordable, great for first time home buyers, especially. Yeah. The schools are not as highly rated as some of the other areas in North County, San Diego, but there are a few pockets over there that are at least eight, nines and tens on, mm -hmm. the, on the great schools rating. Other negatives about living in Oceanside is like, it's right next to Camp Pendleton. So you get a little bit of noise from the, the, the base up there. So That's sometimes true. you'll hear some bangs or some, so, some sonic booms coming doing, out of nowhere. They're doing some training, they're working so on So don't be alarmed, stuff. we yeah. are not under attack. Yeah. So if you're looking for like a super quiet, it, that might not be the place, no, right? No, might not be super quiet. I mean, it doesn't go on all day all the time. or all no, night. No, it's not all the time. You will occasionally yeah. hear a some sort of boom going yeah, on there too. Yeah, or like the helicopters or, yeah, they're, they're always training. We did a video on the downtown area of Oceanside and I love downtown oh my gosh. Oceanside. It's such a they've nice They've done a great spot. job with that. I mean, that. 10 years ago, it did not look nothing like no, this. No, they've totally revamped. And if you were a boat owner, I feel like Oceanside would be amazing. That would be a great place to live. They have that huge harbor there mm -hmm. and they have like restaurants all around the harbor. I mean, I'm not sure how much it costs to, you know, own a slip there, but if you live- Cheaper than Coronado it's, cheap, it's gotta be cheaper than Coronado. <laughs> There's not that many places, you know, aside from living right on the beach beach or in yeah Mission Bay or Coronado where you would house your boat so and one of the other cons is like the distance to downtown it's obviously gonna take a little while or yeah. go to the airport that sort of thing but they do have a train stop up in Oceanside so you can yeah. take the train all the way down there or go up to Los Angeles from the train stop in Oceanside yeah. so in my opinion there's a lot of pros to living in Oceanside and it's that's why it is making our number one spot of best places to live for under a million dollars in yeah. San Diego so that was our list so hopefully you guys enjoyed it let us know what your favorite community under a million dollars here in San Diego and maybe we'll do a condo townhome version of this yes, video in the near future so that's our list. Thanks for watching. And uh, if this is your first time to our channel, please subscribe to our channel as we post new videos every week. And if you're ever looking to buy or sell here in San Diego, we'd love to help you guys out. Thanks for watching. And what? Uh, we have our Instagram page now. Oh yeah. So we have to direct people That's right. to our Instagram page. Now. We just started Sorry. a new Instagram called Off the 56 Home Team. So if you want to see some of our behind the scene antics that we go oh, on yes. here during our, our video shoots as they <laughs> never go as planned, but we do get a video out to you guys every week. So yeah. check that out. Okay, Sorry. that's it. Catch us next time. Bye. Bye.